Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Shadow here, and today we're going to be doing another character analysis video. This time we're going to be taking a look at the character Flamaz. He's one of the many mages in Genesis. I think he's a very unique character. I like the way he plays, I like the way his abilities work together, and how he can, you know, synergize with almost any character in the game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, the Flamaz's first ability is Inferno. The way this ability works is that he throws a wave of fire in front of him that damages all enemy in the wave's path. Now it does have a small travel time, but it's not likely enemies will be able to dodge out of this. Now what I recommend is that you use this ability very sparingly early game because Flamas doesn't have that much mana early game, and even mid game and late game he only has a moderate amount of mana. So granted it will be your main damage dealer, your main wave clearer, but I still recommend that you do not use it that much and try to focus on basic attacking enemy means as much as possible. If you do have to use it, use the poke at the enemy or like try to just get their health down but still try to just use your basic attack as much because you don't want to run out of mana and have to run back to base and enemy pushes the lane because most other characters do have more sustainability than Flamas does in their respective lane. Now Flamas' second ability is called Magma Quake. The way this ability works is that he targets an area around him and he'll launch a Magma Quake. Now the way this works is enemies who get hit by the ability are both damaged and stunned. This will mainly be used in order to set up to use maybe your first ability or your ultimate or even both depending on how fast you are on the buttons. You'll be able to use this ability a little bit more than your first mainly because it has a lower energy cost. The only issue is targeting but other than that it should be great to use. Now Flamas's third ability is called Solar Flame. The way this ability works is whenever you use any other ability it gets a stack of movement speed boost that you can use to chase down an enemy or fall back. This one is very useful because it's a passive so it takes no mana and as you can see in the clips it actually lets you get some quick getaways or chase enemies down whenever need be. This ability is like not one that you'll typically be noticing a lot but it is helpful in some situations. Now Flamas's ultimate ability is called Nova Blast. The way this ability works is in the area around Flamas you'll target an enemy with your ultimate and you'll launch a huge ball of fire at it. Now this ability is going to be your main damage dealer when it comes to having encounters with enemy heroes. You can lock down enemies with your L1, then use your L2 or your first ability, and then hit them with Nova Blast, and you should be able to burst damage down even tanks. Now the first item that I recommend you build on Flamas is Artemis' Boots. I personally recommend this item for any mage class because it gives you energy penetration as well as some movement speed of regular boots plus some energy damage. This item I believe personally is essential for any mage but some of them you can switch it off for turbo boots. The next item is going to be Radiant Shield. Now Radiant Shield is useful because of its substats that gives you a ton of energy early game as I said before Flamas doesn't have that much so this will be you know what allows you to stay in the lane longer plus the defensive capabilities and energy damage it gives you and even if you forget to launch its shield in the middle of a scrap it will automatically deploy for you it's just one of those really good items that you can put on this character the next item is helm of hades helm of hades is really essential because of its passive that allows you to get bonus damage whenever you hit an enemy with an ability plus it also gives you energy damage i believe it gives you some type of regeneration but do not quote me on that this item is also another one i deem essential for mages mainly because what character that's a mage wouldn't want to get bonus damage off of its abilities especially if that's what the character is based off of like it's just a no-brainer, but most of you knew that. The next item will be Scepter of Zeus. Now, Scepter of Zeus isn't really as useful for its passive as the first three, mainly because its passive is in close proximity with Flamash, you'll never really be getting that close. Now, it is useful though for its substats because it gives you bonus energy damage. I think it gives you some energy and some other substats as well. That's the whole reason it's on this. It's just one of those items for this character specifically that you'll just build just to have a stat boost. Now the next item is Chrono Switch. Now Chrono Switch is a great item, but it's coming in fifth because, you know, it, it, it's an item you want to build late game because as I said many times before, Flamas has little to mana. So you're not going to be going in there spamming your ultimate twice or using abilities back to back. Now late game, if you want to do that, it's perfect. It will help you mow down those targets that just won't die immediately. The last item I recommend that you put on is Refractor Prism. This is just if you're going for a little bit more defense out of just Radiant Shield, because what Refractor Prism does is it lets you block one targeted ability. So let's say Mikazugi is coming at you or Hades is coming at you with his ultimate, you'll get like one get out of jail free card and it's just a really great item, plus the self stats are okay as well. Now two items I can recommend that you might want to you know switch out some of these items for is maybe Crimson Storm and Reatomizer. Crimson Storm because when you hit enemies with your abilities they'll get slowed down by I believe 35%. It's great for chasing since Flamaz doesn't really have any dashes or chase abilities just a stun. And Reatomizer because it prevents enemies from hitting you and lets you get free damage off of them when it transforms them into sheep. They're both really good items but switch at your own choice. 
Now with Lamas, you're mainly going to be using his abilities in sync with each other. So you're going to mostly be initiating with your L1, then firing off your L2, then firing off your O. Sometimes you'll be able to win a fight just by using your L1 and your L2. Now, if you want to just use your ult first, that's fine as well. But I recommend using your L1 first just to get that lock on in case they manage to get away. And with his passive, even though his passive is not really going to be that useful, it would allow you to chase those pesky enemies that just, you know, barely made it out of a fight and be able to hit them. Now, with this, you can it really syncs well with like characters that do lock down targets. So like Chris, he'll sync well with because of his, you know, his two AoEs. They'll sync well with characters like Nameless with a stun. Like, Famas is one of those characters that can be used in any team, any group, any type of synergy. He can just bounce off of it. It's just really great for this character. But I would like to thank you all for checking out this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, hopefully that this will help you somewhat. And uh, I will catch you all in the next one. Till then, I'm going to look back in the shadows. Peace out. Victory!